in the women's flyweight division at UFC 299 and your first fight of the night. This goes down in Miami. You got Joanne Wood coming in at 16 and 8, taking on Marina Moros, who comes in at 11 and 5. Moros, one inch taller at 5'7. She's 32. Wood, 38. She's getting up there. Wow. Moros, one inch reach advantage, 67 to 66. Both fighters stand right handed. Wood, seven significant strikes per minute. That's ridiculous. 4.2 for Moros. Also, Wood lands more takedowns. About a takedown every other round. Moros gets one like every five rounds. So she's not uh, going to be a problem for Wood in that department. Wood also 59% takedown defense. That's not great. She's coming off the win over Luana Carolina by split decision. Before that, she lost three in a row against really good fighters. Lauren Murphy, Tyler Santos, and Alexa Grasso. Two of those by submission to Santos and Grasso and a split decision loss to Lauren Murphy. So, you know, she can hang with the best, but, you know, her only win was a split decision in the last four. Could very easily be 0-4. Now, Moros, with the subpar stats compared to Wood, lost to Kareen Silva by submission and Jennifer Maya by decision. She did beat uh, Maria Agapova by submission and Myra Bueno Silva by by decision. This is a tricky one, ladies and gentlemen. This is an absolutely tricky one to predict. And they got Marina Moros as a two to one favorite. But Joanne Calderwood has a lot of experience. Yeah, several losses. Yeah, she's 38 years old, but something tells me she's going to win this fight. I mean, seven significant strikes per minute against some of these really good fighters. That could have easily brought her average down, but it did not. Now, she's got to be careful. Uh, you know, getting submitted and things like that. But Moros doesn't really go for a lot of takedowns. She's going to want to stand up and strike. And that that favors uh, Joanne Wood. So I got to lean towards Joanne Wood. Forget that she's a two-to-one two, two to one underdog. I like her to win this fight by decision. Takedown defense. She should dominate on the feet, even though she's given up one inch in reach. But, you know, I just like her to win this fight on the feet. <laughs> Outpace Moros. Probably more like six significant strikes to four or five. But Wood's going to squeeze out two rounds to get the win here to move to 17 and 8. Women's flyweight division, UFC 299.